Hey, what's going on everybody? Man, we're going to be going over patch 3.22.1 for Path of Exiles in this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell because this is our first ever patch preview for our channel and we if you guys want more of it then i need to know that you want more so let's get right into it guys let's go all right guys so we got patch 3.22.1 the patch notes right here so we got a lot of stuff to go over it's actually a pretty big patch um i'm not gonna lie just spoiler alert i may not know what all of this stuff is because i'm not at end game yet but if you know what it is i would love if you guys explained in the comments anything that you know please let me know so we got some time this week we're planning to release patch 3.22.1 on pc it adds a forfeit button for stalemate situations and a revive progress indicator in the trials of ancestors okay so i have done that and i'm pretty excited about that part because i did try out the trials of ancestor i got completely demolished in it but uh i think that's a good one right there so and they're going to be as well as balance changes to many warriors and field items okay we've also fixed a number of bugs and uh, made a change that decreases the loading screen time of town areas so that's pretty exciting i'm not going to lie you know having some less time to do go from town to town will be nice so the trials of the ancestors improvement and fixes so they added a forfeit match button that can be used when you're in the trials and the ancestor totem has been banished in a stalemate situation okay so that's pretty cool so i know that i have tried that out and i think that that's a good a good one right there they added an indicator above player characters uh, that display your revive progress when you have been killed in a match. Okay, I see. I think that's a quality of life thing. I think that's pretty cool. So that way you can now see um, your revives and stuff. I think it's going to be pretty sweet there. Um, added six new tattoos that will be obtained in the Trials of Ancestors. So I personally haven't gotten to the, ta the tattoos part yet in Path of Exiles, but if you guys have, please let me know what tattoos are. Uh, I'm curious to learn, and I think that'd be pretty awesome. So added two new field items. That's sweet. We always like new items. Added a vendor recipe that can be used to trade three tattoos from a tribe for a random single tattoo of the same tribe. Okay. All right. Not bad. Added an indicator that displays which of your warriors were placed in your previous match when viewing favors. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie guys, not sure what that is, but I will find out. Um all right, purchasing a warrior equipment item from a chieftain or a Naval now causes them to offer a different warrior or equipment item for purchase per respectively after your next match. Okay, all right, sweet. Tribe chieftains now converse between matches in the halls of the dead. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So they converse. All right, sweet. All right, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Um, ancestral totems are now visually repaired if they are healed. Okay, so we got the totems. That's pretty sweet. That's a good change there. Some uh, somewhere is both high life and energy shield, making them much tankier than similar warriors. We've lowered the life of the following warriors: Death's Guide, Jade Crafter, Moon Dancer, Mystic Prophet, Storm conduct sunset sage what the hell is that word tower <laughs> tower shaman of the tri tide collar okay all right so uh we've also learned that the favorite cost of the following warriors so okay i have a question guys in the chat what is this warrior stuff like i know that i'm going over the patch notes so i'm trying to be pretty you know pretty excited about the patch notes but i don't know what the warriors are yet someone in the patch notes let me know what the warriors is uh as their values didn't compare to the warriors of the similar favorite cost bloodhound warrior camouflaged however the hell you say that name frenzy monger lunar turtle moon dancer riptide and tide collar that's a lot of stuff the spirit dancer has had the damage lowered by roughly 30 percent and the range of which they can use their enraged skill has been lowered by roughly 33 percent all right that's pretty sweet spirit dancer so the spirit dancer isn't going to be doing as much damage so all right so riptide's hook toss skill now deals damage when pulling an enemy and interrupts them okay that's pretty sweet jade crafters in case and jade skill now interrupts targets all right Man, this is a lot, guys. Look at all the look at all these things that they're trying to change here, guys. That's pretty awesome. Uh, if you guys want to, you can also read ahead if you want. That way, you're not listening to me. Um, the Titanic Shell Warrior has had its life lowered by roughly twenty percent, and now takes more damage while it is protecting totems. 
the Titanic shell warrior also now responds 50% slower. Okay, so 50% slower respawn time for the Titanic shell. Update the Titanic shell warrior's totem protection skill description to clarify it is applied to multiple totems. All right. Uh, Utila's fireball skill now deals roughly twice as much damage at level 83 in the trials of ancestors. All right, so if you use anybody using the Utila's fireball skill now deals roughly twice the damage, so that's pretty sweet. I think that's cool. I mean, this is pretty in depth stuff here, guys. This is pretty in depth. I've, I've have this is my first patch note that I've been going over for Path of Exiles, and it looks like even though like it does, it looks like there's a lot of bug fixes down here. There is also a ton of extra stuff up here, like the like a lot of like they're just fixing a lot of things, and that's pretty awesome for a game that is free to play. To be honest, like that is very impressive that they're going through this much, um, pressing control and clicks. Um, on any chieftains or Naval in the halls of the dead now brings up the favors window even if they have new dialogue available to you so they're just adding a lot of quality of life changes and I think that to a game that's already really spectacular at least to the point that I've gotten to like this is this is rewarding like look at this patch note guys look at this like fix the bug there's they're fixing bugs they're they're paying attention to what people need you know what I mean like this is this is good stuff fixed an issue where the duration mentioned or the descriptions of blessings jade crafter idle field items were lower than the actual duration so general improvements so we're going to skip on to general improvements loading screens no longer wait to finish loading the visual effects of other characters before the load into the area i think that is awesome i think that it's sweet anytime that they can improve improve um quality of life things so that way people can go through loading screens faster that, that is 100 percent a perk in my book improve loading screen duration in many situations okay all right so so continuing on with that quality of life the exploding orbs monster modifier now spawns a single exploding orb which emerges from behind the rare monsters with the modifier the audio of for the exploding orb has also been changed to be to better telegraphed dude i've been giving this game a lot of credit for the music and they're making it even better like i'm i love that they're worried about the audio that means that they're worried about the details and this proves that they're worried about details in this weapon range display like look at that like like they're worried about the details in patch 3.2 to oh it changes uh was made that caused mirage archer to no longer be able to use skills triggered by mana forged arrows support we have restored this behavior the Mirage Archer now states that it can use triggered attacks as though they were not triggered. That is awesome because I use Mirage Archer. So that is awesome to me, man. So they're actually going back and they're fixing that. That's good. Aura is supported by Guardian's Blessing support now persist after changing area. All right. So destructive plays, keystones, updated the relentless rituals challenge to require defeating rare or unique monsters and rituals instead of just uniques. Okay. So this this to me, like you guys can you guys can screenshot it, you can read it as as we're going, but I just I really think that this is this is awesome. Controller specific changes. Like this is crazy. Dude, like I've like I'm so used to Diablo 4 patch notes where it's like there's not much to it, but look at this. Look at all these fixes. Look at all these, fi they're even fixing stuff to the controllers. So that way everybody across the game, like, like last patch Diablo 4 didn't even have barely anything. Ruthless specific changes. The Val Orb vendor recipe has been re-enabled re in Ruthless. Okay. Fix the bug where, bug where nearby enemies are blinded. Bug fixes. Look at all these bug fixes. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's sad that it sucks that there were so many bugs. But, I mean, they're going through and they're changing and they're fixing all these bugs. Like, that's a lot to read through. We're not going to go through all that. But, 
if you guys want to you can read it i'll leave it there for a second if you guys want to try to like skim through if you want to pause the video and read some of this so that's pretty awesome like i'm really excited about this i'm really excited you know because we're streaming the game where we're going to get to a further point in the game and we're going to be able to start seeing a lot of these changes because our character is going to be leveling up we're going to get to more in game and i'm excited i'm excited to know about the trade features i'm excited to know about these tattoos like that's that is awesome man Vendor, like recipes like i haven't even started started trading yet but i've heard about the trade in this game and it's a lot of people just say how awesome it is i mean there's a freaking trade button on the main site guys this game it just continuously keeps on blowing my mind i'm excited about it i'm excited about the patch i'm excited to see what happens in the future dude i mean oh this is just blowing my mind let's go i know that that was a lot to take in um, I feel like I wasn't even able to catch all that because it was such, it seems like such a big patch, but this information is so crucial to the game that you guys need to read it over. You need to make sure you go through the video and you read it over and you, you, you look at what, you know, is really happening and what's going on because this will affect your gameplay. And I think that, you know, it's super important to keep up with patches and it's super important to keep up with builds and it's super important to keep up with what they're changing. So that way you can keep your character up to top tier. So this was my first ever patch preview for uh, Path of Exiles. I was ex I'm excited about it. I'm really looking forward to the future of this game. I think that they have so many great things that they're adding, so many great things to come, and I'm super excited. But guys, we will be streaming this game um, this weekend, so if you haven't yet, please make sure to hit the like button, hit the notification bell, hit follow, and in the pinned comments is a link to my Twitch. If you guys want to follow on Twitch, you can. Be very much appreciated. But all right, guys, hey, have a good rest of your day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow on the next one. Let's go get